Hey everyone, happy April. Today I'm going to be diving into the April market update for Tennessee. Um, I'm going to be talking about the NAR lawsuit and how that is affecting our market here, as well as some market updates in terms of numbers. And then I'm also going to be showing um, some properties that I think are really great deals here in Tennessee right now. So right now that it is thundering outside. So if you hear some of that storming, um, that's normal for April. So we're just going to bear with it. All right, so let's get started. So and then what's new category? I really wanted to talk about the NAR settlement agreement. So there are some changes that are happening right now in the real estate market with commissions. So first off, if you have not been following the news about this lawsuit, I want to give you a quick summary. So the National Association of Realtors does not set commissions. They are always negotiable. The rule that has been subject of litigation requires that listing brokers communicate an offer of compensation. That offer can be any amount, including zero. And other rules throughout the MLS handbook and NAR policy expressly prohibit MLSs, associations, and brokers from setting or suggesting any amount that should be included in that field. Settlement agreement mandates two key changes to the way that members and MLS participants do business. One, offers of compensation could not be communicated via an MLS, but they can continue to be an option to consumers to pursue off MLS through negotiation and consultation with real estate professionals. So what this means is that a buyer's agent commission is not going to be advertised on the MLS. The second key change is that NAR also has agreed to create a new rule requiring MLS participants working with buyers to enter into a written agreement with their buyers before the buyers tour a home. NAR has long encouraged its members to use written agreements to help consumers understand exactly what services and value they provide and for how much. So in Tennessee, this isn't really much of a change because we have had the buyer representation agreement here for some time. We absolutely use that as part of our business. I use that as part of my business. Um, so we can have upfront information ahead of time and have that talk of compensation during our buyer, buyer's consultation. Um, so those are the two really key changes that we're going to be seeing from this lawsuit. They say these are going to take effect around July of this year. So let's move on and talk about the Tennessee real estate market and what has been going on in the spring market. So in March of 2024, home prices in Tennessee were up 5.3% compared to last year, selling for a median sales price of around $368,000. On average, the number of homes sold increased by 0.8 compared to last year, and the median days on market is 74 days, up by five days compared to last year. Over here to the right, I've made a list of the top 10 most competitive cities in the Tennessee real estate market currently. Number one is Dandridge, Tennessee. Number two is Milan. Number three is Calhoun. So if you have any questions about these cities, let me know in the comment section down below. Here, I wanted to show you the rates as of April 1st. Keep in mind that your interest rate is going to look different from this. That is going to be something that you will have to talk to a loan officer to get pre-approval and go through that process to know your individual rate. But here's just a summary of what rates are looking like right now. All right, moving on to the next slide. I wanted to also show you the homes with price drops. That has increased by 2.8% from last year. So now is a great time to enter the market if you're a buyer. There are some listings that are absolutely seeing price drops. So um, now is a really great time, especially for inventory as well. We're still at a four-month supply, um, but that is leaning more towards a balanced market, which is great. Over here on the right, you'll see a graphic showing you where people are moving to and from here in the U.S. So the blue states will show you that these are states where people are moving from these states to other states. And then the orange states are the states people are moving to. So you'll see that Tennessee is orange, the Carolinas are orange, and then of course Florida as well. All right, so let's move on to the next portion of the video, which will be talking about some Middle Tennessee listings that I really want to showcase in today's video. 
First, I want to give you a map of where all the listings are at. So we have one in McMinnville, two in Shelbyville, and then one in Reddyville. All right, so starting out with the first one, this one is located in McMinnville, Tennessee. This beautiful new construction is located in the heart of McMinnville, offering instant access to schools, shopping, and more, packed with custom features, including closets, natural lighting, and upgraded countertops. Single level living with three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and an open concept layout. So this home has over 1,300 square feet. It's on 0.16 of an acre lot and has three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Let's take a look at it. So the home is listed for $262,400 and around $190 per square foot. Let's take a look at some of these pictures. So here is the front of the home. There is a spot for you to park, but there is no garage with this listing. Here's some of the side pictures. There's plenty of space for you to add a carport if you would like in the future. Here's a view of when you're coming into the home. So you can see it's, it's quite an open concept layout. So walking into the living room, and then I guess this is the dining room right here. You have these nice tall ceilings as well, and then a ceiling fan in the living room. There you go, and it's these beautiful windows that let in tons of light. And then the kitchen has granite countertops, white cabinets, stainless steel appliances, and you will have to buy a refrigerator like many new construction properties. I like this little spot right here with extra cabinetry. You can add some top cabinets if you would like, or just keep it like it is, or add some floating shelves would be nice as well. And this is the pantry space. Just some more photos of the kitchen. Here is one of the bedrooms, has a ceiling fan in here, one of the bathrooms. One thing that you see with new construction a lot of the time is they don't include mirrors, so they leave that up to the buyer's discretion of what mirror they would like to put in. Just looking at more of the pictures of the bedrooms. Looks like they have lots of lighting in them. This is the primary suite. You have tray ceilings a fan, large walk-in closet, and then of course the primary suite bathroom. All right, you have double vanities in the primary suite, large tub shower combo, and then here is your washer dryer room. And then a look at your backyard. So this could easily be fenced in. Um, and you could have more privacy from, from neighbors. And here is a look at your backyard. Looks like there is a covered back porch. So you could absolutely fence this in and have a little more privacy from your neighbors. It's on a pretty decent sized lot. It's 0.16 of an acre. Um, it's a very level lot and you have some nice trees back here. So I think this is a great home for the price here in McMinnville. So if you have any questions about this listing, let me know in the comments below. So more information about the home. It is hooked up to city water and public sewer. It is on a crawl space and it has access to high-speed internet and of course washer and dryer hookups as well. Everything is all electric. There's no gas to this property. And down here, you will see the schools. There's West Elementary School, Warren County Middle School, and Warren County High School. All right, so the next property is in Shelbyville, Tennessee. This home was built in 1920 and has 2,000 square feet, four bedrooms and two bathrooms, and a ton of charm. This home boasts four large rooms and two full bathrooms. The spacious home has great flow and features charming touches, including shiplap accents in the living room and laundry room. Enjoy new stainless steel appliances, quartz countertops, floating shelves, and a coffee nook in the kitchen. Downstairs has all new refinished hardwood flooring and new carpet added to upstairs rooms. 
beadboard ceilings adorn the primary suite, kitchen and dining areas, and it's located in an easy walking distance to the Shelbyville Square and close to shopping and dining. This home is listed for $323,900 at $162 per square foot. So like I said before, this home was built in 1920 and has since been renovated. Let's take a look at some of these pictures. I love the red door. I think that adds a lot of character to the home. And this brick is also fantastic. I really love the outside look of the Craftsman build. There's a large front porch. And then walking inside, here is your living room. You have some built-in shelves and fireplace, as well as the laundry room area and the checkered floor tiles. Bathrooms have been updated and a rainfall shower head has been installed. There's double vanity in this bathroom. The small little shed back there. And here is a look at the refinished hardwood. I think that is absolutely stunning. And I really love what they've done with the fireplace. Here's one of the bedrooms. Another one of the bathrooms that is en suite to this bedroom. It has double vanities. They look like they're pretty small um, and also two small mirrors. Here is a closet. So you have a nice large walk-in closet with this one. I really like how spacious this home is. And then here is your dining space. Plenty of windows, letting in a ton of light. And you see the flow from the living room to the dining room to the kitchen. There's another bedroom. Hallway leading down to the bathroom. And then here is the closet. So the kitchen has been renovated. You have stainless steel appliances and then quartz countertops. And these cabinets have been painted. It looks like they've installed this little bar section right here, right by the fridge. So I think that's just a, a nice little touch. All right, so here's another look at the kitchen. This stove and hood vent is in a, quite a funky place right now. Um, I think they really just worked with what they had. If I bought the home, I would probably move that and then also extend the cabinets out. All right, so going upstairs, you have this bonus room. It has its own separate unit for heating and cooling and then lots of storage. This historic build has plenty of space. A lot of times with historic homes, they are a lot smaller, don't really have bonus rooms a lot, but this one absolutely has everything you need and more. Here's a look at the front again. And there's not too many pictures of the backyard. All right, so let's close that out and look at more information about the home. So it is set on a crawl space. It's on 0.2 of an acre lot. Here are the room dimensions right here. So if you wanna take a look at those, there's two bedrooms, including the primary suite on the main floor, and then two bedrooms on the second floor. It is hooked up to city water and public sewer. It has electric and central heat and cooling. And then for schools, it is zoned for Eastside Elementary, Harris Middle School, and Shelbyville Central High School. So this next home is also Shelbyville. I really was feeling the historic homes this month. This one is also a historic home. It's on five acres. It has three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and over 2,700 square feet. 
Um, so it's a fully renovated Tudor style cottage. This home has two new HVAC systems, finished original hardwood floors, replacement windows, and two stone gas fireplaces. Custom cabinets from C&J Wood Design have been installed throughout the home. It also features a large walk-in closet in the master bedroom. The interior also includes two tile showers, one tile tub, and beautiful chandeliers throughout. All of the brand new stainless steel appliances will remain with the home and the exterior includes a new roof with architectural shingles and fenced pasture. This home is listed for $489,900 at $179 per square foot. The home was built in 1950 and you can see that they have put quite a bit of work into the home but have kept much of its original charm. All right, so let's take a look at some of these photos. I really love the exterior of this home with the painted brick. You can see the new roof on here, so you don't have to worry about any leaks. Here is the living room with one of the gas fireplaces. And I love the color of the hardwood in here. There is granite countertops and then the custom cabinetry in here, as well as stainless steel appliances. All right, and here is one of the chandeliers that the listing had mentioned. Just going through some of these photos. So this is the dining space here, your living room here, and then that flows through to the kitchen. Here's your dining space. With another chandelier. Kitchen has a small kitchen island with more storage. And then you go upstairs from the kitchen as well. Here's your laundry room and then a half bath. This is something I've seen with listings before is where there is a half bath built onto the laundry room and then also a door leading outside. So with older homes, sometimes you see some funky things like this. Here's your hot water heater. And this is all off of the main kitchen. Here is the second fireplace. This one is also a gas fireplace. And then you have, yeah. here is your second gas fireplace. And then a chandelier. Have they, they've done a great job with renovating the property. You have the tile shower, looks really good. Double vanities with granite countertops. And then here is one of the bedrooms. Really love the wood floors. You also have painted paneling all throughout the room. Another bathroom. And then a look at your yard. So this one is on over five acres. It's a great size lot. It's pretty level. There's lots of trees and wooded space as well. And then one of the parts that we didn't talk about was the fact that it also has a pool. It looks like the pool needs a bit of cleaning, but if you restored it, I bet it would be fantastic in the summertime. So here's a look at how much acreage is surrounding the property as well. It's all beautiful farmland. Here's some overhead shots of the property. Just so you can see there's an old barn back there. And it is based off of a main road, but it's set back from the road pretty far. Scrolling down, we'll take a look at more information about this home. So this one is on a septic tank that is very common for homes on acreage. 
So with septic tanks, there are a few things that you should ask. One of them is um, it, when's the last time the septic tank has been pumped and maintenance. And also if there's been any issues with the septic tank before, have those is issues been addressed? So um, with the septic tank, most of the time you're going to have um, some information from the seller about the maintenance that they've done. So just asking that ahead of time is great. Um, especially with a home that was built in 1950, that tank is probably going to be older. Um, so it's really great to ask all those questions and due diligence before. Um, with newer homes, it's going to be a new septic tank. So not as much maintenance is um, required on the, on the front half. In terms of schools, it is zoned for Liberty Elementary and Shelbyville Central High School. So the last listing I'm going to show you today is a land listing that has 10 acres and 50 feet of road frontage It's in Reddyville, Tennessee, close to Murfreesboro. So this is a beautiful tract of land stretching at 10 acres in total. Enjoy gently rolling pasture with private level home site towards the back of the property. Excellent opportunity to secure a beautiful property for your future custom home build and outdoor activities of your choice. Electric, county water, and fiber internet is all available at the road. There is also no deeded restrictions, so this track offers flexibility for anyone looking to own in this area. The property is only 12 minutes outside of downtown Murfreesboro and 40 minutes from Nashville b &A. So this one is listed for $249,900 at around $25,000 per acre. So let's take a look at some of these photos. It's a pretty level lot, as you can see. And then this one gives you an overhead look from the road. It's pretty narrow, but you can build a driveway all throughout here and then wind it back to your private home site back here. So you can see this main area here has been cleared for the home site, but much of the acreage is still also wooded. So uh, it's a great combination of areas that you will have to maintain and also areas that you don't have to maintain. Here is an overhead look. It's a beautiful area. More of these photos. Very level lot. So it would be very easy to build out here. All right, let's close that out and look at more information. In terms of schools, it's zoned for Kittrell Elementary, Whitworth Buchanan Middle School, and Riverdale High School. So on the map, I wanted to show you how close it is to downtown Murfreesboro. It's only about a 13 minute drive. So if you wanna be on the outskirts of still a major town that's going to have all your essential amenities like Murfreesboro, um, Reddyville would be a great area to live and this listing would be a great start. So that concludes the April market update. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comment section down below. Go ahead and follow me on all my socials, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. If you would like to book a call with me, you can click the link below for my Calendly link. Um, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.